it is completely possible to eat plant-based on a budget. There are a lot of plant-based foods that are filling and easy to make that are very affordable. Firstly, if you haven't already started in this direction, you will come to find that it's actually quite easy and very affordable to eat plant-based on a budget because animal products like meat and dairy are quite expensive. Now it will depend on what location you are in, but typically animal products are more pricey and when you aren't buying those and having those in your grocery cart, well, you have a lot more room for vegetables and grains that are much cheaper compared to those animal products. So by simply eliminating the animal products from your grocery cart, you are saving money. Another way to be saving money as well too is buying in bulk, which I will be showing you today when we go to the grocery store. Another way to also make sure that you are saving money when you are headed to the grocery store is to first meal plan. You can reference this video here about meal planning and how I do that, but having meals already in place that you are wanting to make for the week and then buying the ingredients for those meals and only those meals will really help you save on your budget and also eliminate waste of food as well too because you are then only buying foods that are for a specific meal instead of more of that random oh this looks good in the moment kind of food when you're at the grocery store one thing that you will come to find as well too is that when you go whole food plant-based your mindset will switch over to more of a which foods are the most nutrient dense foods and let me bulk those up in my meals. Therefore, I can buy less, eat less, but have more nutrients going into my body. Before we head over to the grocery store today, there are a few different categories of items that we will be shopping for. So we will be shopping for grains and beans. Uh, so grains and legumes. Legumes is anything like a bean or a split pea. So the grains and legumes areas, nuts, seeds, fruits, and vegetables. All right, so before we head straight to the store, a couple things I do first. Meal plan, if you haven't already, get yourself a meal plan. I grab my reusable bags, I grab my reusable shopping bags, and then we get. This is the bulk bin item of the grocery store that I go to. They have everything from grains, dried beans, dried fruit, flowers, nuts, seeds, granolas, little snack bites, and everything in between, even some pasta. So these are the bulk bins that I talk about when I say buy in bulk. Steel cut oatmeal is about $2 per pound. With my family, we can get one pound that lasts about two weeks for one person having oatmeal all week. Short grain brown rice is usually a little bit cheaper than the other styles of rice. Mine is $3.25 per pound, which will get me multiple meals in the last two to three weeks. Please do keep in mind these prices are for the store that I shop at, which is a co-op. It is a slightly specialty store, so your prices might be a little bit lower. These prices are also for the organic version of these items. Buckwheat is a wonderful breakfast food. I do about a quarter cup of soaked buckwheat for a breakfast a few times a week. So this gets me about six meals and lasts me a couple weeks for one pound. Quinoa is absolutely a grain that you are going to want to have. It is about $4 per pound. However, one cup of dried quinoa makes three cups of cooked quinoa. So for one pound of quinoa, you can have multiple meals with this quinoa. Quinoa is a complete protein and is very filling and very energizing. So this one really does go a long way per dollar. Pasta is always a good option as well. It is a little bit more per pound, however, it's lightweight. So you get a lot of pasta per pound. So I get about four to five meals per pound, which lasts me two to three weeks. There are many other grains that can go in this category as well too. However, those are my top four, the ones I buy most often. And just to give you an idea to get started. Lentils are an excellent way to add bulk and protein into your meals to create a really filling meal. There are red lentils, green lentils, French green lentils, black lentils, 
Mine are about $3.75 per pound, which I get about three meals out of, which lasts me about one to two weeks. Keep an eye on when things are on sale as well too, and grab them when they're on sale. Split peas are another incredibly filling, protein-rich food. You can make a split pea soup, and it's only $2.99 per pound. I get approximately four meals out of this, which can last me about two weeks. Garbanzo beans are one of the cheaper beans to buy, and I'm glad they are. They go so well in so many recipes, and you get a lot of bang for your buck. They are high in protein as well, too. Beans in general are a filling and nutrient-dense food, so the more beans that you add, the better off you are going to be as far as your budget goes. So kidney beans are definitely a wonderful option as well, too. Black beans, again, are a low-cost bean. They go great in salads and enchiladas and tacos, even as a dip as well, too. And same as the grains as well, too. There are so many other beans that can go into this category. However, those are my top ones that I get most often. And just to get you started and give you an idea of what a dried bean costs and how cost effective it is for you. A little goes a long way with nuts. So while they are more per pound, you don't need as much. They are a high calorie, high healthy fat foods so you only need to buy smaller amounts. You can get peanuts to make your own peanut butter which is roughly half the cost of what a typical jar of peanut butter might be at your grocery store. Cashews are a staple as they are very nutrient dense and a healthy fat and if you get the cashew pieces as opposed to the whole cashews they are cheaper as well. Remember, a little goes a long way. Just a small handful, so maybe five or six almonds is a great snack, and just a small handful makes a whole container of almond milk as well. Walnuts are a great snack as well, and just three to four walnuts is perfect, and just maybe two or three walnuts crumbled up on a salad is all you need, so one pound lasts a while. Pumpkin seeds add such a wonderful crunch and healthy fat to your meals. It's only $6.99 per pound, which makes two big batches of pesto, or if you're just sprinkling it on a salad, can last a couple months. Like pumpkin seeds, yet cheaper, sunflower seeds will go at least a couple months if you are using them to sprinkle on top of a salad. Don't let that $25 per pound scare you because it only costs about $2 to make a 32 ounce jar of chia pudding and I get about three to four servings in that one jar. Flax seeds is one of those items where it's like pennies to sprinkle a tablespoon or two of flax meal on top of your oatmeal. If you buy the whole flax and grind it yourself, it's even cheaper this way. Tahini. Tahini is a staple. I make sure I have an extra jar in my pantry. There's also one in my fridge and um, really good source of calcium, really good source of healthy fat. I drizzle it on top of my chia pudding and my oatmeal in the morning. You can make dressings out of it. Um, and if you're getting it from Trader Joe's, which is where I get it, it's like two or three dollars from Trader Joe's comparative to the other grocery store that I go to, it's like seven or eight dollars. So do your price comparing for the stores that are in your area as well too. I shop at Trader Joe's myself and then I also shop at a local natural food grocery store. Refried beans. When you just don't know what to make, you need something cheap, you need something easy. Refried beans. This is like a dollar or two from Trader Joe's and slap that on a tortilla or cook up some rice with a little bit of tomato and salsa, and there's your meal. <laughs> and that tomato sauce that I was talking about for our pasta, um, two, three bucks. And you can get multiple meals out of this too, especially if you add, usually what I do is I'll add lentils into my pasta sauce to bulk it up even more. So whether that be a red lentil that I add into my pasta sauce, or this green lentil that I add into there. 
Add some lentils into your sauce, bulk up even more, extra protein, extra filling, and you get more, more bang for your buck. I really like olives as well too. These cans are just a couple bucks and you get, you know, a lot of olives inside of each one of these. They are awesome if they go in salads, they can go on pizza, they can go on tacos. Uh, this week I'm going to be making a, uh, like a pasta, I think it's called pasta primavera. It's my partner's recipe anyway, where we're gonna be taking the pasta, then cooking up the kidney beans with the chickpeas, there'll be onion, there'll be olives, and it makes like a big pasta, there'll be broccoli in there, it makes like a big pasta bowl of you know veggies and beans and very filling, quick, easy, cheap, and you get like, you know, that whole concept of cook once, eat like five times. So, yeah. And then to show you guys a little bit of like more of the produce-y kind of stuff too, potatoes. Grab potatoes. <laughs> potatoes are cheap, but they're so filling and there's so many different things that you can do with them. So I always have Yukon. Most likely I always have sweet potato and also a Jersey potato. There's purple potatoes that are awesome. Potatoes are cheap, they're filling, they're energizing. Grab potatoes. Same with bananas. Uh, bananas, they're 25, 20 cents a banana? Like 20 cents for a banana. <laughs> so always plenty of bananas. Uh, you can do banana smoothies, all of that. Tomatoes, tomatoes are cheap too. Grab some tomatoes, tacos, quesadillas, uh, pastas, sandwiches, and then apples. Always some apples. Apples, I think, are like a dollar to a pound. And um, put a little bit of peanut butter or almond butter on there, a little bit of hemp seeds or cinnamon, and you're good to go. I like to grab some citrus as well, too, because citrus is cheap. It's like 10 cents, 15 cents per little lemon or lime as well, too. But you can make really awesome dressings with lemon and lime. You can put a little bit of that on top of your guacamole or your salsa or your taco or your salad or your soup. And it just enlivens the whole meal and it's, you know, 10 cents for the lemon. So why not? We, you know, it's, yes, we want uh, cost-effective, affordable, you know, cheaper options, but we also want it to taste good still too. So. Citrus. Citrus does that. Or I will type out some recipes in the description box. So there's a few recipes in that description box for you for how to get started. And I also have other recipes that I have on this channel too. So go check out my other videos where I walk you through how to make certain recipes as well. It can be really easy to make a nutrient-dense, healthy, and cheap meal plant-based when you just know a couple little things. An extra little bonus item for you today too, for those of you who are just really wanting to get the most bang for your buck, yet make sure that you are getting all of the nutrients that you are needing on a plant-based diet, is to grow your own sprouts and microgreens. So I ordered some sprouts, sprouting seeds the other day, and you can get sprouting seeds like this, it comes with like so many seeds in there. The recommendation is to do, I think it's one and a half tablespoons of seeds uh, per little sprouting container. And you get so much sprouts from this. Trash truck. It's like seven or eight dollars for a small little package of sprouts, which is kind of ridiculous. And then you're also contributing to the plastic waste that goes out into the world. Whereas you can buy this and get like 20 times the amount of sprouts for that cost. So having your own sprouting seeds, making your own sprouts at home will definitely save you some bucks and make sure, still making sure that you uh, get really good nutritional uh, content into your body too because sprouts and microgreens are just full of vitamins and minerals.